and loves the job You walking in your perfect with pink mascara In your couple when you start to dance, that's why me love Next your dressing gown is about to fall down, down, down. Girl, let me thank you, let me thank you for I love you Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block, Center of the Home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscriber right now. Let's just go straight to the station. Francis Ngano, aka the Predator, is uh, as a thrown, thrown a jab at Anthony Joshua regarding Joshua uh, calling their fight. A gimmick. Ungano's confidence comes from stems from uh, his life. Um, his life experience. But before I proceed right here to talk about this particular subject in regards to Ungano's confidence and why it is it is not. Too good to be confident, especially when you find the guy, a monster Joshua, who've been boxing for a long, long time, and was literally back at or close to being back. Okay. Now let's. This is a video that uh, we're gonna post on the social media platform on IG. I didn't really do no gimmicks. But um, if I want to do a few gimmicks, yeah, I think Ngarn is a serious think gimmick. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit. And of course, he left the caption. Okay, gimmick. Let's go. And with an hashtag, Joshua Ngarn, gimmick fights, real season, and stuff like that. <laughs> now, Let's talk about Ngano's uh, confidence as a fighter and why it is a little bit and it's not wrong to be confident but it is dangerous to be this confident against a two-time unified heavyweight champion of the world. Now, Ngano's story started in Cameroon. He grew up in a village in Cameroon not far from uh, Douala you know he had a very tough life as most you know um, African kids that don't have a rich dad rich mom a wealthy sibling or anything like that or wedding uh, family member even if you have a wedding family member you still have to fend for yourself basically if you're not connected Cameroon is a very interesting country because I think Paul Bia, the president of Cameroon, based in Switzerland, has ruled that country for over 40 years, I think. So basically, Ungano himself wasn't born by the time Paul Bia took power. So, in Cameroon, it was pretty you know my encounter with a lot of Cameroonians because I've lived in the same apartment with them before you know very interesting people though because you know Cameroon is multilingual you have the English speaking part and the French speaking part there's a clash between the English speaking part and the French speaking part because the English speaking part think they deserve their own country they've been they have been dominated by the French speaking part while the French speaking part thinks like they think they are, we are doing them a favor. Basically, Paul Bia is a very close ally to France. And when an African leader is, a, is that of a close ally to France, I mean, you definitely know the leader is a puppet. Facts. Because if he was a rebel, he would have been uh, ganged up already by France. Now, anyway, let's not get political, let's get straight to it. So, Ngano grew up in a village near Douala. You know, he made the, the a journey from Cameroon to Europe via foot and stayed in Morocco, hid from police, 
and got across to Spain and then from there I went to Paris and in getting to France life was not as uh, as easy it was homeless in 20, in, in 2012 Ungano was homeless nowhere to go had no papers or anything like that and that same year Anthony Joshua won the Olympic gold medal so you look at both of those guys just picture in your mind Ngano has seen everything he's seen death he's seen struggle he's seen so many things Joshua on the other hand has seen things as well but it's very different Joshua was born in the UK we all know the UK there is um, a working system there facts which of course also come f- come from the street but compared to Ngano Joshua didn't survive for his life so I'm gonna have to Joshua wasn't running wasn't in the forest running away from police like Ngano had to so you can tell Ngano's mindset is a str- listen it is stronger than Joshua's mindset definitely And this is where Ngano's strength comes from. You know, he was introduced to MMA. He wanted to be a boxer. But someone told him, listen, you'll probably make it MMA faster than you that you would in boxing because boxing politics is crazy. Ngano took the advice, learned some um, missed martial art, and then got sent to UFC, and the rest is history. Okay did a lot of damage now this far right here Ngannou's confidence is increasing day by day especially stepping the ring and beating to the fury some might say well he lost no I think he beat fury at least that fight should have been a draw in his first ever pro fight this guy dropped to the fury the WBC world champion do you know what that means do you know how fucking hard that is to do one thing I noticed about Ngano is that his fighting style he stand he stands as a boxer. He doesn't fight like you know, a lot of MMA fighters when they come from when they come from MMA, like they their stand is their stand is very very awkward and is very predictable, you know. But Ngano stands it's very different. He can switch to Autodos and South Pole. Has to tell you that this guy right here has got good things going in for him, but he's confident, overconfident. Going against Joshua might, might be very devastating. How is it gonna be Joshua? Well, if he lands a lot of his, some of his bombs, he will surely hurt Joshua. But as if, a big if, he can land, but if he land flush. Ungano's hardest punch is a left hook. Joshua is a two and fighter. He's been boxing for a long, long time. Joshua has been to hell and back. He was ritually counted out after the two losses to a two sick. Beauty set back up. We know Joshua. I think Joshua will beat Usyk in the trilogy fight. Second fight, I think it was a draw, but people might give it to Usyk. There's already a bad. Each time Joshua fight, there's already a bad. And in that fight, due to the Ukraine war, Joshua was already at a disadvantage in that fight, in my opinion. So, usually I don't like to see two fighters of African descent fight each other. But looking at Ogano's story, he's gonna be getting paid. He will be get he will get paid a lot of money, and he deserves it. This guy is the is an inspiration. He's a survivor. This guy is a guy that I've seen it all, but I believe 
when it comes to fighting Andrew Joshua is a dangerous fight, but being overconfident will make him pay. Joshua will have to target Ungano's body. Ungano has, I wouldn't say a granite chin, but he has a strong chin. Tyson Fury literally landed flush with an elbow. And this guy took it like nothing happened. He just took it like that. But his body, if a man has a, um, any man that has a strong chin, doesn't have a strong body. It is different when a lesser guy is punching you to the body compared to a devastating puncher like Joshua. Ungon also has a very sneaky uppercut. Is I think on the inside, he will probably dominate the inside against Joshua based on probably trying to manhandle Joshua because he's definitely stronger than Joshua, bro. You know, he's an MMA fighter. Not because of that ball, because this guy is, is a tank. But Joshua will have to fight this. He has to he has to fight this fight in the middle of the ring. And Joshua is also very dangerous on the inside. Oh, but one thing I noticed is that Joshua, whenever he fights on the inside too much, he tends he tends to lose his rhythm and tends to gas a little bit. So I hope she doesn't do that. Well, what do you guys make of of Ungano's confidence? Is he is he being too Overconfident, will he regret it? In my opinion, I think he might. The reason being, Joshua is also war ready for Ngano. And both are not going to let anything like disrupt their path to glory. Joshua being the boxer, he surely has the advantage. But this fight right here is war. AJ must be ready. Uh, I support Gordon, I support Joshua. But you don't have to go with Joshua, bro. You know, I have to support Joshua for this fight. But I like Ugano. I'm a fan of Ugano. As an MMA fighter, as a boxing guy, is he has to prove me more. Like he has to do more for me to like to really see what it's all about. Even his trainer today said, "Listen, Joshua is the most dangerous fighter than Fury." It shows Dewey Cooper knows what's coming. God should know too. Stay blessed, guy. God bless you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.